lovely day we got uh, beautiful blue skies out today much much different day than yesterday so since we looks like we're gonna have Sun all day I've got the solar panel out my red arc solar blanket hopefully we can recoup some of the uh, power that we've used up over the last couple of days for those that didn't see the last video I'm camped out in the National Forest typically my rambling nature has me moving around a lot more but with the increased fuel prices, I am wanting to stay in one location longer. That means when the opportunity does present itself, I will be relying on my solar system to help keep my van house battery topped off. You know, I have to admit, when I pulled in here the other day, it was so cloudy and rainy, I had no idea what kind of views I'd have from the location. My biggest thing was, is I just liked the idea that this was so open and that I would hopefully, if we did get some sun, which was forecasted for today, that uh, I would have a good clear this view of the sky to be able to use my solar panel. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised of the nice views of the mountains that I actually have from here. It's already getting late in the morning. I haven't had any breakfast yet and I'm starting to feel pretty hungry. I'm just gonna make a very simple breakfast just like the one I made yesterday because I really wanna get out while we have this beautiful weather and try that e-bike out. All right, guys, well, we just had our first mishap here. Looks like there's some kind of plastic chain guard going over the chain, but I hit a log back back a ways, and it, uh, the uh, sprocket hit the log, and yeah, pretty much wiped out that piece of plastic right there. I tried to take the broken guard off with my Leatherman, but there was a backing net that was spinning, so I had to just break it off. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only damage. The sprocket itself was bent and would no longer hold the chain. This was the log here. This is the culprit that uh, uh, ended up breaking the uh, chain guard on. I went over the, tried to go over this log, and the guard hit there. In fact, I, now that I got him back here, I can see that there's some pieces that I need to pick up. But, uh, yeah. So obstacle jumping, probably not recommended with the e-bike. All right guys, well we're on our way back to the uh, van. Uh, I'm pretty sure the sprocket is actually bent. So what I'm doing so I don't have to pedal is I'm just using the throttle on the bike 
and just using the bike's power to get me back. So that's kind of nice. I don't have to push the bike back. Well, I got back to the van and I was able to get the rest of the plastic pieces off the sprocket and indeed the sprocket was bent. So it's a fairly flimsy metal sprocket. So I was able to bend it back well enough to get the, the bike working. It's definitely not perfect. If I spin, spin it, you can definitely see uh, some wobbling through the sprocket, but it does seem to be functioning. So I'll be able to continue to use the bike for the next couple of days, which I'm happy about. But I do would like to know if there's a possibility of a stronger setup, if this could be replaced with a stronger setup. My only concern is, is they do seem to have some kind of speed sensor or something that's built into this that tells the bike when you're pedaling. So I'm not sure if just any off the shelf mountain bike crank will work in this, um, in place of this so if anybody knows anything about that or has has any experience with working with these electric bikes if you can use a regular mountain bike crank uh, leave that information down in the comments i'd definitely like to know All right, so we've just sat down for a minute. Uh, we've just walked out uh, into that big open area and we're just inside uh, the trees here where it didn't burn. I'm pretty sure like the, that area that we're in is from a forest fire. But um, yeah, it's still a pretty nice day. Uh, some clouds have moved in, a little bit of wind, not horribly bad, but just enough that out there in the open where the van is, you notice a little bit more than say here in the trees, but. All in all, pretty calm, relaxing day. Just thought I'd stop here for a minute, let Daisy rest for a minute. I think she's feeling a little tired, so we'll give her a few minutes and then we'll slowly meander our way back to the van and uh, get a fire going. So many of you guys have probably noticed that I have switched up lanterns. I used to have the type that used the little green bottles of propane. I just hated having to carry those green bottles around in the van. It took up space. Plus, I just think they're a little bit on the wasteful side. So I switched to this type of lantern. It uses white gas or unleaded fuel. And since the van uses unleaded, I keep unleaded on the rear bumper all the time in that uh, silver can that you guys see. So I just use that fuel to fill this up and run it. Ooh. All right, guys, well, the sun has gone down over the mountain. Unfortunately, um, not much color or brilliance in the sky tonight. It looks like uh, we had some clouds move in and I was really hoping that would actually add to some really dramatic skies with a lot of a lot of color and atmosphere but it just snuffed the color <laughs> completely out 
So, not not nothing too spectacular to show you guys tonight, but it's still a pleasant evening. And even though there's been a, just a little bit of breeze, it's nothing too too major. So I think we'll have a nice evening by the fire. I'm going to get started on dinner, and I've got uh, some steelhead here that we're going to cook. Uh, we're going to cook up in a pan, and then after it's cooked, uh, we're going to saute up some just cut up mushrooms and asparagus. Well, I guess I was a little premature about the sky. It is sure popping off beautiful right now. again got a great meal out in front of me we ended up again with a just an absolutely stunning um, I guess after sunset golden hour after the Sun went down it uh, cleared up just a little bit over the mountains and that light just poured through and hit those clouds and really made for some brilliant skies so I guess the moral of the story is, is it ain't over until it's over but yeah we're gonna get dug into this meal. I'm going to enjoy this rest of this evening. I've got my Woodenville poured and uh, yeah I think it's just going to be a quiet evening by the fire tonight. Well, good morning folks we are getting up got a nice morning out there a little bit of clouds a little bit of Sun it's just now starting to kind of peek up over the uh, the mountains but not a lot of color but still a fairly beautiful morning sunlight hitting the, the far off mountains behind us it was nice don't have a lot of plans for today. Uh, I do plan to pack up at some point, sometime probably late this morning. I've got quite a few little projects stacked up for me to do at the shop for the van. Just little, th mostly little things, but I do have one larger project which I will, I will video. But the van's going to go on a bit of a weight loss diet. We're going to see if we can shed a few pounds. But other than that, yeah. I think we're just gonna have a nice relaxing morning, aren't we, Daisy? Yeah, you'd be okay if we just did this all day long.
All right, so one of the ways I plan on keeping this bike charged when I'm out in the field is using my Jackery 1000. I do have an inverter in the van, but I wanna keep my house power for things like my heating system, my lighting, charging camera equipment, and running my laptop so that I can do editing and things like that when I'm gone. So what I'll do is I'll bring the Jackery 1000 along with me. This is a 750 watt hour bike, so I should roughly get around a charge and a half out of the Jackery, which should give me uh, plenty of use out of the bike over, say, a week-long trip or more. Jackery is a partner of the Primal Outdoors channel, and for my Canadian viewers, Jackery just launched a new website at the beginning of March 2022, so check out my description for a link and a discount code. All right, guys, well, we're just making a quick breakfast. Uh, nothing you guys haven't seen before. We just got some pre-cooked sausages, some eggs, maybe the only differences we're going to add an avocado to it yeah just got back from a nice ride on the bike i rode about six miles on a little mixture of dirt roads and some mountain biking and hiking type trails uh the bike did great had no problems with it this time uh it was great to have that extra assist especially since my legs aren't quite up to par yet for mountain biking uh to be able to have that little bit of help to get up some of the steeper hills but yeah, it was a good time. I think I'm going to enjoy having that bike. And I think once I get a few more things figured out, like how I'm going to carry it in the van full time right now, I'm just shoving it in here, uh, which is not convenient. So my, my hope is to put it on a bike rack and, and have some kind of setup like that in the back. But so yeah, it was a good couple of days. I enjoyed sitting in one spot and just camping and having the van set up and then being able to go, like I said, and explore like today with the bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I think I'm gonna try to do more like this where I'm just sitting in one spot and you know spending a few days in one location. So if you did enjoy it, please do give it a like. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside. Burning my sausage.